Hey guys, I have an update for you. I want you to keep this in mind. So some time ago, I shared an amazing video about Canva and how they are stepping up their game as far as it pertains to video content. This is something that I was super excited about. Now, this is something that they are also developing. And a lot of you have reached out and asked, Zaylee, after I record my presentation inside of Canva, how do I pull that URL down? I did some research on this and they're not done. I feel like they're not done building this tool out as yet. We all know that Canva started out really providing a platform for graphics and they've been doing so much innovation and developments and, you know, things like that. So some of the things that they are doing are not really probably, you know, all the way set up or finished. And so I tested it out and I wasn't able to pull my video down. So it's currently November. I think it's the 12th. <laughs> of November and right now you're not able to do anything with that URL so I want to remind you guys for me I love using tools that are native to my computer to do screen shares so if I'm doing a screen share I use a Mac so I'm able to actually use um, my computer or use sorry QuickTime on my computer or I have a video about the script that you're also able to do screen shares with like you can do screen shares with things that you are sure are going to save to your computer. Um, I don't like, you know, using things that are not all the way developed yet. So that's why in that video, I did not recommend guys that you should actually um, use Canva itself to record your presentation. So for me, what I do is I actually have another computer next to me where I read my presentation notes and then I record on another computer, right? So I may use my iPad and log into Canva to get those presentation notes. And so that is what my audience won't see, but what they would see is that screen recording or sometimes I use two computers. So I'll probably uh, record on my monitor here and just on my laptop read my presentation notes, right? So let's just go into the back of Canva and just share a little bit about what I mean. Um, I guess they have not figured this out yet, but I wanted to make sure and update you guys about this so that you're not making this mistake. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. You are able to head into present and you can try Canva Live, but it's not something that I feel is stable enough to use just yet, right? So it's new and it's amazing, um, you know, for what it is, but it's, I feel like it's just not secure enough to use just yet. You guys know for me, I use Ecamm Live to go live on different platforms via Restream, Dot io, or I use Ecamm by itself to go live with you guys, my audience. So if you are not in our amazing Start Shoot Grow Facebook group just yet, you want to make sure you head down below to the description box to join that group. Right. So this is not something that I would recommend that you really depend on just yet. Um, you know, there are other tools like Zoom and things like that that you are able to use for now. We don't know where this is going um, and I'm excited about seeing where it's going. But right now, I don't recommend that you do it. Right. So in here, um, what I created that video about, especially for my course creators, is the presenter view. So now that we're in this presenter view, let's talk a little bit about what you're able Able to do in here right um, so here you can read and see that audience window right this is the window that your audience sees so drag it uh, to your screen or drag it to the screen your audience will be looking at and enter full screen mode, right? So this is what you would be recording. So I'm going to escape this. So listen, as I'm, you know, when I'm creating and actually this is a class that I do have, make sure you head down below to get that special price for it. It's really affordable and lots of amazing information. And you can actually check the reviews that are on the page as well um, to see how it has helped other people. But for this video planning, an organization masterclass, um, I am able to go through it, right? But if I have specific tips that I want to give, this is my presenter window, right? So the presenter window is what I alone am seeing. I love that we have a timer on it. I can see the time on it. So I'm just going to hit got it. 
And this is what I use on a laptop or something. So this is not what I would be recording using, whether I'm using um, QuickTime or whether I'm using Filmora screen sharing or whatever screen sharing tool I'm using, I actually have it on another computer. Here is where I can add notes. So let's say I wanna give extra tips that I don't really have room for or that I don't wanna forget. Um, I can type it in here, right? So I can type that in here and then I'm able to, um, you know, look on my laptop, see the slide I'm on, but on, you know, my computer or whatever I'm recording on, I can keep switching and having the audience view on. So that is how I do it. So I'll set up recording on another tool or device or I can open this up, this presentation view up, whether it's on your iPad or something that you're not recording on, right? So that's what I wanted to make sure to share with you guys. Now, the cool thing is that there's a timer here. So if you're running a webinar and you know that the standard time that you want to go for is between 45 minutes and an hour, you don't want to bore people and keep them online for too long while teaching, you can have that timer letting you know exactly what you need to be doing. So like I said before, use something that you, you trust, whether it's a Camtasia, whether it's, um, you know, like I said, a QuickTime or some kind of screen sharing tool that you trust that will download natively to your computer so that you won't lose your presentation. We don't want our presentation only on a URL, <laughs> right? Um, that way there's no way to download it and you can only see it in that URL and then you have to think about, well, how am I going to add this to all of my systems and the things that I use? So guys, I just wanted to make sure to be able to update you guys on this. I mean, Canva has some amazing things, you know, in the works that they are actually doing, um, you know, that is really, really cool. But I also wanted to make sure to share this with you guys because I feel like a lot of people, um, you know, have been excited about using this tool and recording natively in here. And that's not something that I recommend just yet. Right, so make sure that you are not recording directly into Canva um, and until they figure things out and really have a solid way for us to actually do this, this is what I would recommend, right? Okay guys, I hope that this was helpful for you in some way um, and I'm so sorry if you were you know, recording based on what they have there right now. But listen, let's, let's use kind of what we are, um, you know, sometimes, let me tell you something. Sometimes companies are building things and they're testing things. A lot of things are in beta, right? And I mentioned that in the first video, this was something that I had access to. They were probably testing it and they're developing it, but it's not something that we can really say, okay, I'm going to record an hour presentation on this thing just yet. I'm sure they'll update us or I'll keep an eye on it and make sure to update you guys when it really becomes a thing but for me I always tell you guys I love using tools for what they're for until you know they've developed something that is really solid and you know they have decided that they are actually um, really making that a thing or you know like the company will always let you know and if something is in beta they'll let you know as well so let's keep that in mind as we move forward if this was something that you were struggling with let me know down below um, and let me know if you have any questions down below and let me know what you want to see from me on this channel next i love you guys i appreciate you guys if you have not subscribed just yet definitely do so down below click the notification bell um, so that you know whenever i upload i will see you guys in the next video. Take care. <laughs>